Hey, so you know, why not just start at 3? The end of the uh, series? Because it's arguably the shortest, I guess. It's also because I kind of want to save one for um, when I'm much more professional and better yes, at this. Because, um, you know, it's my favourite game of all time combined with Bloodborne. Um, those two up there, definitely. And two is long as hell. And I'm trying to... Uh, a mate and I are trying to work this... Work out uh, to stream it together. Hey, did you see Anna Londo? I seen it. The Pilgrims of Madden Town. Right, so I'm um, just... Just to uh, preface this with something very important. Dark Souls 3. No matter what you hear me say, I love you very much. I just have some criticisms that need to be addressed. <laughs> I cry every time. Yeah, I could skip this, but I didn't skip it for Bloodborne, so, you know. I think this playthrough is going to be even more, well, I guess loose is the right way to phrase it, than Bloodborne. Which sounds odd, but... Uh, Bloodborne, I was trying to show off everything I could, bar like the high level um, arcane tools, but oh well, I'll do what I can here. Ah, there he is. Oh boy, I got plans for you, buddy. Payback. Yeah, like, look, I'm not going to be showing off all the high level magic, obviously. Um. And look, there's a good chance, if, you, if you're here and you've clicked on this, you know what you're in for. You know Dark Souls. I'm going to expect probably some level, at least, slight understanding if you're watching this, given, you know, it's about five years on. Oh man, why couldn't you actually be related to the Giant Lord properly? That would have been so sick. Now, I'm not going to try to make this a playthrough of, well, compared to Dark Souls 2, because that's disingenuous and kind of shitty, but there are going to be moments of, you know, sympathy towards 2. And probably criticisms of 1, to be fair, so, you know. But I do genuinely like this game a lot. It's just, one being the first, you know, discounting Demon Souls, and the world design, um, is what caused me to fall in love with, with this genre, I suppose. I mean, a gargoyle, the gargoyle halberd helped too, to be com completely honest. And in fact, pyromancy required no scaling in one. So I was just a quality tank in Havel's armor, throwing chaos fire. Because why not? Oh boy, he's gonna fuck me up. I'm not good at Solar Cinder. I'm very much not good at him. Right, alright. <sighs> alright, alright. Alright, let's keep this nice and simple. This is for convenience, for when we get to that part of the settlement. I have a face already in order. This dude. Yeah, yeah, got waifu looking guys, like, you know, Axe from Dota. And like, you know, Kanra and knockoff Joker. Yeah. This is this is this is this is the fucking edgy face you go for. Oh, no. No, no waifu's here, damn it. Oh, wait, voice. Compared to Yeah. It, like this guy's just a standard face, I just kinda did some stuff. Not a lot of work, to be honest. Oh, no. I have no original name, so we're keeping this nice and simple. I've got a rough idea of how we're going to build, or how I'm going to build, rather, uh, throughout this playthrough, but I am going to mix it up. Once we get to Cathedral, or the end of Cathedral, it gets a lot easier. Alright, night. Let's start off with, with the criticisms nice and early. 99% of PvP characters are going to go night. 90, I, maybe that's too high of a number, but you're going to start as knight for most characters. And it's all because of that stat right at the bottom. 
Merc's cool if you're never going to level um, strength. Warrior's good if you're never touching any magic and you don't need any more attunement. Herald, I think, is only ever good if you're doing some weird gimmicky hollow dark build. I uh, yeah, it, it's an uh, arguably probably the worst stat distribution, and they come with the uh, probably the worst weapon. Shame, because I like it quite a bit. Thief is rad, you know, but luck build. Assassin is pretty good overall. Maybe a l little too balanced, but I like the playstyle. Well, it, do I need to say anything? Truly the, the choice for only the bravest of souls. Um, Gundir messed me up big time when I started as a pyro because I was frail as hell and I didn't know how the hell to play. <sighs> The luck's a little high, which irritates me a bit. And no matter what you do, you're going to have some wasted stats. And honestly, this all kind of comes down to... Luck in Demon Souls, I didn't mind. I said this in the playthrough um, last year. Because it's the first game. I, c I can give some leeway. And to be fair, luck isn't resistance in Dark Souls 1. And we don't have an adaptability stat in this at least, so... You know, there's that. But luck... Luck does nothing for most builds. Because here's the thing. I'm not going to parry, I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty crappy at parries with medium shields. Um, here's the thing. Strength always does something. If you go on a dex build, there's nothing wrong with having extra points of strength as a knight. Extra vitality is fine. Doesn't really hurt your numbers that badly. And it gives you more capacity to, you know, wield some secondaries. Um, Int and Faith, respectively, help. Well, you know, for Pyros, you want both, obviously. Damn, I was hoping we get the chime. Pyros want both, but for Dark Magic, for Clerics and Sorks, you kind of want some of it anyway. Get poked. Oh, yeah, we'll deal with him afterwards. I'm getting the Silver Servant Ring. Then we'll come back. What's up, man? Let's see. Yeah, you can. Okay. That wall you can manage to clip him through, thankfully, because of how short swords, uh, well, long swords work in this. Sorry, straight swords work in this game. Hey, did you know they're good? I had no idea. Hmm. Yeah, luck just doesn't do enough. Which is weird because hollow builds were apparently overpowered as hell back in the day. Completely overpowered. And then they nerfed the hell out of him. Bleed was never really good, supposedly, outside of stuff like, oh, let me just bu uh, buff with Rouge. Uh, yeah, Rouge. I should say, rather. Not Rouge. Like, I remember seeing in those old Moose Torrent videos, and Mr. I won't forget, all the old PvP videos where, you know, it's not even like a proper luck build, per se. You're just getting a high bleed weapon and putting on the buff. So yeah, and well, poison is, you know, oh good, this guy's a tendency to wait, almost, as if to time it to get you right as you come out of those frames. I won't be using him for the fight, but let's put him on now. Yeah, well, like, let's think about it. What does luck do? Item discovery by, like, a few points. Ah, water loaded in, that was kind of weird. Um, yeah, not incredibly helpful. A little depending, but for a, you know, for a PvP... PvP build who gives us stuff. A little bit of curse, curse resistance. I think it's at level 15 and onwards. And, well, you know, that bleed and uh, poison scaling. And that's kind of it. And even then, you only want luck to be like, what, 30, 35, maybe 40, depending, I think. Which is a shame. I mean, given how hollow builds were, it'd be kind of BS if luck worked like a DS2 stat where... Okay, let's do this. Yep, okay, I knew I'd fuck it up. Amazing. I've been fighting tougher enemies than Gundyr, so I'm gonna fuck up the parrying. Yep, okay, you know, we're giving up now. Alright, I'm scrubbing this up, so who cares. What am I doing? I've been spending too much time fighting all the high get high level enemies at the end of the game. I've been binging on this recently, so I'm well practiced for the playthrough, says the man who just fucked up several parries on Gundyr. 
Um, I probably won't parry champion Gundyr because I'm a scrub. I'm just going to be honest. I'm not very good at champ Gundyr parries, even though they're, you know, arguably the easiest thing in the game. Alright. I have been re-watching Matt and Pat's playthrough of RE5. And yeah, I can see that being Ouroboros. Kinda. I don't know. Probably looks, yeah, it kind of looks cool than most RE enemies, but... Oh boy, I'm going to have fun with those fuckers in High Wall. But yeah, to get back to the point. Luck is just kind of waste stats for most characters, which kind of sucks. Um, in retrospect, I've been thinking about this for like years at this point. I actually like how DS2 handled the whole... Um, level up, level up a stat, get a little, little bit of HP. So, you know... Any stat under 20, you get two points of HP. Um, any stat over 20, you get only one. But still, made it so early on you didn't have to just gouge HP. And it helped when you wanted to gouge adaptability, for biggest reasons. I mean, if you're good enough, you don't really need adaptability, but... That requires being good enough to not need it, so, you know, let's not go there. Damn it. You can sometimes get a plunging attack on... Yeah, a plunging attack on him. And strong attack. Beautiful. Amazing. Didn't screw that up at all. I think that's my little tirade on luck. Over. Let's grab the shield so these guys wake up. Yeah. Yeah. Smooth. In about three minutes. He fell off a cliff. If only. I don't know if I'll... Yeah, maybe I'm just going to cheese him. Who cares? I always forget these are basically... Well, I know they are humanity. The game's humanity. Or effigies. But I always forget how much they actually do look like them. I totally forget the little head part... Head bit at the top. Sup, pooch? Nice. I got words about them too. Don't worry. If I'm feeling ballsy enough, I will be running to Cathedral of the Deep. Without killing any of the dogs. Oh boy, will that be a spectacle. Sorry if I don't sound very energetic. But, you know. It's late afternoon. Been of the gym. I'm having to play through the start of Dark Souls 3 again. Yep. Ah, well you're not gives me conniptions. He said the thing. Collapse. Think. Yeah, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we'll get to uh, Ash and Estus eventually, don't worry. I don't know exactly where I stand on the whole FP bar. It's good conceptually, but... Like, I understand the... Uh, uh, yeah, it's going to be one of those days. I understand what they were going with, but... I don't know if I entirely agree with how they balanced it in the end. Homeward Bones. Yep, yeah, wouldn't be a playthrough without me fucking up the tree jump. Uh, sometimes I nail it first try, but often it takes me a second. I can't run head on like most people do. I tend to do it the kind of janky way. And of course I mean to drop the Homeward Bone. I've been forgetting to do that for the, uh, the iron bracelets I never use. We're not getting a poison shield. I'm not that cool. I kind of like this. I like the shield bashes in this game conceptually, but... I'm not using that, that's for damn sure. I, I've always tried to make a build not entirely centering around, but utilizing Dragon Slayer shield, uh, Dragon Slayer armor's shield. That's kind of a mouthful. Speaking of which, he's, he's a fucking good boss. Hey, did you know that? People that have played this game, Dragon Slayer armor's pretty fucking rad. Alright, so we are online and using Ethernet, so connection will be pretty alright. Alright, time to deploy the, in the, early, the invasion early warning system. There we go, sort of. Well, yep, hi hey Andre. 3000. Uh huh, uh huh. Yep. And this is a very different tone to when I was f trying to first plan this out. I was doing like a little recording test. I was actually going into detail trying to explain stuff, but. Eh, it's Dark Souls 3. And we have rest. Hey, Nameless King. 
You're probably going to kick my ass a few times. I really like that fight, in spite of, you know, King of the Storm being a bit of a shit. Uh, sort of by weight. Alright, should be good. Hey, Storyteller Staff. Cool guy. Alright, so it's a proper playthrough, so I guess we're going to do this. Normally, I don't level up. I just grab... Well, I do very minimal leveling up. I just grab Yol's uh, five free, uh, free levels. <coughs> Excuse me. Which takes me to level 14. And then I play a lot of the game low, low level. Especially if I'm going to be, you know, an invader or a co-op or something. Yep, yeah, I'm happy with this. Thank you very much. Nice, well-rounded stats. Now, time to be two-shotted by Swordmaster. Because that is exactly what's going to happen. Excuse me, I was just grabbing a drink. R2. R2. Alright. We'll try to fight him and then I'll try the... Yeah, you know what, screw it. Come here. Well, that worked. Normally I'll be on the quit out and I'll be listening for the audio cue, but... Eh. Can't really hear the game audio as well. I've got it right down, so it doesn't pick up. <sighs> Come on. That's kind of a nothing detail, but admittedly... Dark Souls 3 has good music in general. I kind of wish the uh, main menu was a little more subtle. I kind of like the compromise 2 made in retrospect. One, I like how 1 is completely silent. It's a nice tone setter. I like how 2 has that eerie music and then the soft piano. It's really nice. I mean, I guess you could make argu an argument saying Dark Souls 3 lacks subtlety in some regards. I'd probably have to agree with that. Alright, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. Oh. Yep. Oh. Hey, Dusk. You, you wear any anime ears? Hope not. We're going to be incredibly boring and get some basic stats. Alright, we're going to grab one thing. Do I have enough? I don't think I do. Let's cross a soul. I'm getting a dagger. Yep, one of these. And we'll have a single soul left. Uh, I should have just sold it, but whatever. Yeah, just sell the, sell the soul. As not work in that regard. I don't know if I'll be in any rush to actually grab the, um... The tower key, but maybe. Yeah. Eh, I don't know about the whole warping straight to high wall. I mean... Okay, let's get this out of the way nice and early. All... I'm setting the obvious here. All of these games, every single one, probably even Sekiro, has had development problems. This game's story was changed dramatically. It was pretty sim... It was more similar to Bloodborne in terms of actually seeking the... Well, not the old blood, but it's equivalent. It's, me it's Mexican, not equivalent. As Mr. Burns would be seeking. Oh. Well, I guess that's just... I could just do that. Actually, just let's do a little damage test. Oh, I fucked it up. Beautiful. Right. Ah, uh, yeah, and I've said it before, but 2 went through development hell. There's a good video Matt just did, a What Happened video about it. Highly, highly recommend for people that are wondering about what happened with Dark Souls 2. But I'm always left with a feeling of... Man, the original vision was a lot more interesting for this game. But at the same time, I recognise that's purely because... Well, you know. We didn't get the original vision. Yeah, so in case no one knew. Ah, uh, four shield bashes. I have tried a shield-only build. I made it as far as... Um, well, I was right up to bomb it, but I kind of got bored of it, so I quit. The, uh, the goal for that kind of playthrough is just get the pierce shield of patches. Until then, you've got to use the silver kite, get the bone wield shield if you can be bothered farming it, use the two of those. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't think you'd ever want to bother with a second bone wheel, as hilarious as that could be. But, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. 
I've actually crunched the numbers. Knight is the best class if you're going to fight fight the entire game with a shield. Strongest starting one. And even then, like... Yeah, shield only still means you can use utility magic, so why not use some toxic mist while you're at it? Right, let's do this. Uh, we could... Yeah, we could level, but... Fuck that, let's go. Alright. High wall fucked me up back when I played this for the first time in what? March or April 2017? Because I played Dark Souls 1 for the first time in what? Would have been late January, early Feb. Um, beat all of it actually up to Gwyn. Never fought Gwyn as I've stated before because, you know, new game plus shenanigans. In fact, you, you know, you don't get to choose, which sucks. Coming for you, Lothric. I beat you the other day at soul level 14 with a plus one bandit knife. I'm gonna fuck you up for real this time. Oh, he took about 10 tries. Dark hand and bleed and a, a blood infused bandit knife cheese the game pretty hard. At very low, low soul levels. Ah, come on, crossbow or helmet. Or deserter armor in general. Come on. Come on, Pusher. Let's go. Alright. Knight can't immediately kill those guys with these dogs with... Well, that one. That one's the bigger one. Um, two R1s won't do it. You'll need an R2 or a third R1. Small dog, yeah. No prob at all. Why can't I have your moveset with a halberd? Why can't I? So yeah, I've got a rough idea. Oh, come on, Great Axe. Nah. I've got a rough idea of the, the direction I'm going to take this character. Early on, at least. In juxtaposition to... Well, Blood... Well, wait, Bloodborne? I can't remember if I was more dex or more strength at the end. Alright, let's get this out. Wait. Oh, fuck, I missed. Right. Fuck these guys' hitboxes, by the way. He behaved really nicely for the test the other night, so he's going to be a shit today, I know it. Um, I'm going to be a little more dex leaning, but that's because I want to kind of use bows for a little bit. Yeah, um, let me just be the first to say, these guys, not really a fan. When they're uh, kind of unfurling, I guess is the best way to describe it, they have some weird lingering hitboxes on the animation. So if you kind of just touch it, you'll get knocked back. Kinda sucks. Hey, an extra shard. Sick. Cool, we can, um, you know. We can, we can get to a plus two, a uh, plus one already. Three shards, fantastic. That is ideal. What's up, mate? What's going on? Ow, you fucker. Yeah, a lot of, uh, getting hit with the kind of limp looking backswings in this game. I mean, at least with the Cathedral Evangelists, like, their swing, like, you know, feels like something the whole way. That guy kind of just loses enthusiasm, you know, most of what- oh, you. Of course. Yeah, stab- charge R- uh, t <laughs> charge R2 just for you. Yeah, that guy kind of just loses it, you know, what, halfway through the animation kind of gives up, but hitbox still works exactly the same. Actually, I'd be interested to know, um, because this is all just, you know, my experiences and I have no concrete evidence, but I've definitely been hit with dodgier things in this game than any of the other games, including two, which, you know, kind of has the most broken hitbox. It's mostly stuff like the Black Knight's hand counts as the sword, the Gru's hand counts as the spear, stuff like that. It's kind of lame. To be completely honest. Kinda sucks. And honestly, um, backstabs, yeah, they change for the better in, in this game, let's be honest. However, fucking frogs tend to get out of them really easy, the little pricks. That's for damn sure. That's for damn sure. I think I've missed it, but um, you can still see that part of, part of the bridge they kinda cut. I'm pretty sure it was back on the other tower, and I am not going back there. I have no reason to. 
I was some desperate to farm for a crossbow. But you know, I'm not that desperate. It is kind of weird you uh, don't find a normal crossbow anywhere, anywhere in the game. You have to buy one from, from Grey Rat or farm it. Not complaining, it's just kind of odd, given you get the Arbalest. For free. Cause. And depending on that point, I've generally got a f another one anyway from the Hollows. Sup, Dragon? Sorry, Wyvern. There is a difference. Sorry, Drake. What am I saying? Wait, no. No, there are Wyverns in this game, aren't there? Yeah, whatever. I don't care. You're not here for lore, most likely. Highwall's going to be pretty methodical. Cathedral of the Deep is going to be even more so. Farron Keep, well, Crucifixion Woods, rather, is where it's going to get hectic. Because I'm totally going to be invaded by someone. I don't know, how, like, how far in advance I'm going to be recording these. This guy's a weird fucking habit to get me as I walk past. Brick. Oh, yeah, and hollows in this game seem to... Oh, that was my bad. Good shot, actually. Hollows in this game have a weird tendency to feel like they're stretching their limbs I find the straight sword guards in particular feel like they reach really bloody far to tag you it's kind of lame but I won't whoop whoop ah fuck well we'll make it no problem just gotta not get hit by the fire the second time oh I dropped something for you let's heal up and try to iframe the fire. Okay, didn't really hit, so that's cool. Play more. The hard knockdown. Hey, guys, you get it? There's a dragon like enemy, and it's burning an area where you find a claymore. And as far as homages go, it's pretty subtle compared to what some of this game's like. I don't think I'm gonna bother with you, but I might come back in my off time. The large shard isn't actually that useful, to be honest. Yeah, you know what, maybe, depending. Depending. Because you can, hypothetically, if you farm, have a, have a plus four before you even leave high wall. So, yeah, that is alright. Alright, these guys fucked me up big time first time. Lothric Knights are pretty tough when you're a newbie and you don't understand how poise works in this game. In that, it's not poise. It's hyper armor. I don't know if like I'm in, still entirely on board with how hyper armor works in this game, but you know I've definitely grown more accustomed to it over the years. Come on, just do it, mate. I'm in the spot; they can't see me. Just go for it. This is meant to have hyper armor. Meant to, I think, supposedly. Which is kind of wonky that straight swords get hyper armor whenever the fuck they want, but not axes. Of course not. Why would axes want hyper armor? That would be overpowered. <laughs> uh, at least great axes have it, of course. Alright. I didn't show off the unfinished texture work over there, actually. On that father's tower we already did. Ah, that's a little different from your normal trajectory, but all right. Oh, I'm tempted. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. Normally, I can do high wall in one go. It just depends on how I'm feeling. I don't really need to go back. There's no point to level up. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. I mean, if I go back and... Eh. Yeah, that texture's not great, but who... Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I know. I forgot how bad that looks. Top one, who gives a shit? I'm going to be mean and say DS2 quality, but you know. DS2 had more reasons to look for the way it did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll see how far we can go in one shot, but I can probably make it. So yeah, I am thinking of going a little more decks this time round. Mostly because, you know, once I hit like, what, 18, 20 strength, I'll be pretty alright anyway. That said, if I get the Wing Knight Halberd, well, um, change of plans. 
If I get the spiked mace, I might be a little more tempted too, actually. Kind of just depends. Ah, uh, come on. I love this. <laughs> this kind of weird troll war. Beautiful. Now, will he be... Yeah, no, okay. No, he's not close. We save the firebombs. Roll. I don't mind the Halberd movesets in this game, but... These guys have some awesome wide swings I wish we had instead of the spin. You know, as much as I enjoyed it in Dark Souls 1, but... What are you going to do? This guy's an idiot, by the way. We'll come back for you. I want to show off how dumb you are. You can actually bait this guy into throwing it right here. Let's break some of these. Ow. Get some of you. Ah, well, fuck it. Yeah, I managed to get this guy to b bomb himself. It hurts me, but who cares? Mailbreaker, of course. Grey Rat is down there. Alright, wait, hold on. Alright, can we do it? Eat shit. Take that. No throwing knives, unfortunately. I mean, we just picked some up, up then, but... Would have liked a few more. I don't know if we got the souls. Now, I'll come back for you much later. I normally don't bother... Oh, there we go. I don't bother getting the cracked red eye... I'm oh, sorry, the red eye orb until much, much later. Because I'm not really invading much, to be completely honest. And even then, I'm kind of a mound maker, so, you know. Fuck the reds. Uh, I know mound makers are very apt at just, you know... Fucking up invasions for everyone, but man, if I see a total tryhard red in lap armor, like, come on, am I really gonna fight the host? Of course not. Fuck that guy. <laughs> now ignore my character who I've just got to the Ring City with about a week ago. A demon prince at level 14 with that knife is um an experience. I almost did it solo, but I went fuck it. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, no, they're being pretty alright today. I've had this guy, like, um, explode into this while I've been underneath, and I've been running past the room directly under, and he's been in there, just clipping through the floor. Yeah. But yeah, I almost beat Demon Prince Solo. Just died, like, what, the last 10% probably? I went fuck it after a few attempts. But I... That was, like, my second attempt, actually. Third attempt, I summoned Lap. And, well, you know... Only used three esters, so that was pretty rad. Yeah, you know, I shouldn't have liked that. That's kind of, you know, not the high quality responses I enjoy, messages I enjoy. Come on, you better fucking drop it. <laughs> or at least give me a blessed gem. That'd be handy. Yeah, I'm think I'm. Well, what am I saying? I'm playing around with the whip, I make no apologies, you can't make me not. I'm gonna show off that sick whip, whip tech. Yeah, and that guy's not there anymore because I bombed him. Beautiful. And of course, this guy doesn't wake up until you pop. That pop. So you know. Okay, we'll take a single hit off this Lothric Knight then heal. Alright. What you got? Yeah, he's got the shield bash. Alright, back up, back up. It seems to be any time I level is when I actually have problems. Yeah, should have been on the dagger, but I will charge R2 for the wake up. Swing, swing. <gasps> Yo. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Love Ignite Chan. I don't know what your plan was. What a shitlord. Alright, broadsword. We're going to swap to that for a moment. Let's see. Yeah, 1420. Alright, cool. Very cool. That's actually some incredible luck. Alright. I nailed this the other day. Yep. Alright, good, good. Let's see. Can we piss these guys off? Yep. Uh-huh. Him. And we'll nail him with that. Oh, no, unfortunately not. And then once he's... Oh, great axe. Come on, great axe. 
Ah, oh, damn it, he walked down. Almost had him. Raw. Raw gem. Fantastic. Hey, over here. Look over here. Just call me sheer heart attack. Alright, now let's take out the real fucker in this room. Not you, you're kind of lame. You, on the other hand. Boy, cha cha too. I got confused there for a second because I forgot I swapped to, to the uh, broadsword. But ah well. Man, it's, it's a shame what they did to, to the Astora. As in the straight sword, not, for, not the ultra great. Because, yeah, is there a single build the Astora straight sword is actually good with anymore? I don't think there is. I actually don't think there is. I think it's outclassed in every regard. It's scaling is trash. They nerfed it. Um, they nerfed the raw infusion, so it's no good in that regard. Yeah, there's no point in using it. Kind of sucks. That said, if it was any good, I might use it. I would have used it for a shiny bit, because at the very least, I will be going to twelve faith for one pyromancy in particular. To quote Shiva, it's a good old time. Using Boulder Heave. Fucking love that pyromancy. Alrighty, come on. Let's fish. Yeah, this guy's hand also counts as the hitbox too. Well, the very bottom of the handle, right there. Kinda sucks, alright. You're going Elder Brew, you're in the fire. So you know that's handy. Alright, and... Gotcha. He was going for the fucking pillars. 